open-handed or cross-handed? Hi, I'm Felipe Drago and welcome to Drago Drums. The main reason why I ask this question is not only to know where you are, but to provoke a discussion because drumming has evolved so much and keeps evolving. Uh, before 1964, before the 1960s, everybody who wanted to play drums would start playing traditional grip, right? Traditional grip and maybe not even play the hi-hat. Many drum sets in the 50s and 60s, the, the beginner's kit, didn't have a, a hi-hat because everything was done in the right symbol. Then came that famous Beatles presentation at the Ed Sullivan Show, and then from then on, the, world, the drumming became divided between traditional players and matched grip players. Then, very late 60s, early 70s, a guy, my all-time favorite drummer, Billy Cobham, came into prominence and he was playing open-handed. And from then, many other great drummers started playing open-handed. Famously, Simon Phillips, Carter Beaufort, uh, Rayford Griffin, just to name a few. And even though I'm a huge Billy Cobham fan, as I said, for me, he's my all-time favorite drummer, I spent most of my career playing cross-handed. I started having lessons in 1984, and until 2013, I only played cross-handed. Then I started having lessons with Don Fanularo, which opened my mind incredibly, and he became not only my teacher, but also my mentor and lately my friend. And he planted the seed of playing open-handed. And after almost 30 years playing cross-handed, playing open-handed sound, sounded daunting, you know? All of a sudden, all those uh, grooves I could play easily, I couldn't play anymore. The first thing I noticed when I first tried to play open-handed was my ghost notes were gone. You know, I couldn't play any ghost notes. But as I said, don't plant the seed. And then I started kind of taking chances with the right hand, with the left hand on the hi hat and playing open handed until I spent a whole week with him in his studio in Long Island. And there he finally convinced me playing open handed because uh, was during that whole week, his drum kit, he has two drum kits in his studio and both of them are set up so you play open-handed. And he made play a couple of pages of Jim Chapin's book, Open-Handed, and that was a nightmare straight there. <laughs> so, from the seed planted to the beginnings of practicing open-handed, I decided, okay, let's do it. And then months later, probably six months later, uh, after practicing regularly open-handed, I decided to use that playing with my band in rehearsal. Uh, at, at the time I was playing with a band called Cherry White. And as soon as I finished playing the first song, all three looked at me and one of them said, is this the way you're gonna play now? <laughs> and I said, no, don't worry. When we're gonna play live and rehearsals just before gigs, I'm gonna go back cross-handed. I'm just trying to, you know, just testing the water. And and there's a song, uh, Cherry White has a song called Free to Bounce, which we used to close all the gigs with it. Free to Bounce is a song, is a shuffle, and the groove I play is based on reading, reading on the ears from Steely Dan. So it's a shuffle with lo loads of ghost notes. For that first rehearsal, I had to cross hand again because it was just impossible. And with time, not only I, I became comfortable until 2015, I remember it was a New Year's Eve gig and it was first gig of the it was last and first gig of the year, and I decided I'm gonna go full time open handed. And I decided to do it that gig, and it worked perfectly. So 
From then on, I only played open-handed. Very few exceptions where I deliberately decided that I'm going to go cross-handed for this one. Now, what happened? Not only my approach to drumming changed, but also my drum kit changed. And as you can see now, looking at this camera, uh, basically I have two drum kits in one. I have, if you look from this angle, as if I were left-handed, you know, I have 8, 10, 14. And if we look from this angle, we have 10, 12, 16. So I have more sound possibilities. Not only I can choose to do a drum filter like on the regular side, or I can do the other way around. But I can also go both directions, or I can, for example, using one of accents and rebounds exercise where the accents are. those accents on the tongue. See? I don't need to change the sticking, just right, left, right, left works. So this is one of the benefits. The other thing is I have more possibilities for, for, for riding, you know. I have a 14 inch hi-hat on this side and a 13 inch hi-hat on that side. I have a 22 inch ride here. Paragon ride, and here I have an 18 inch garage ride. So, this is an HH accelerator hat, 14 inch, and this one, sorry, I forgot, <laughs> is an AA Fusion hat, 13. And then I have two Chinese symbols and three crashes because I, I from here to from the floor tone to this to this crash, it's easy enough. But from this floor tone to this crash, a little bit difficult. So, just for facility and probably laziness, I decided to put this crash over here. And also, if you notice, I have these electric drums here, and I use percussion sounds on it. So. I can, for example, I can use a lot more the drums for my groove. Playing open-handed, I can put the tones in a groove. One example. If I want to play a percussion part, I have Timbali sounds here. I can play a groove with one hand. I have a cowbell here. And a djembe here. I can mix and match and the music gets a lot more, how can I say, the music gets a lot richer. Nothing wrong with And also, the song being richer doesn't mean it gets busier. Sometimes all you need is you're playing a group. detail that's going to make the difference. So try open-handed. Uh, I have some students that uh, they already arrived to me open-handed. I don't do anything. I have students that because they come from the piano and most of the rhythm in the piano happens with the left hand, they play open-handed. Um, it's not only for jazz musicians or fusion musicians. Ray Lozier, the drummer for for Korn, who was my teacher at Musicians Institute, he plays open-handed. Try it. I'm not saying 
from now on everybody should play open-handed but I think we should try we think I think even if you feel more comfortable playing cross-handed if one time in one song you can play open-handed and enhance that groove it's already worth it okay I hope you liked thank you very much for watching subscribe to the channel press the bell to get notifications see you next time bye